Because today is May the 5th and yesterday was May the 4th, I thought I'd continue with the um, occasional series of Star Wars ships, and here we have the B-Wing. This ship was inspired by a video by Scott Manley, where he managed to crash it lots and lots of times. So, let's go straight into Kerbal Space Program, and here is my B-Wing to the launch site. So let's just have a good look at this baby. We've got the cockpit above, or it will be above when it turns over. Gun pod below, look at those two ion cannons. Laser cannons on the side, or aerials if you like. A wing, and a bit hanging down. And we'll have to see how it flies. I've got control groups on the motor so I can go to turbo thrust on set on one. So first of all, just correct my staging before we take off, because you want the engines to rev up first of all. Nearly fell for that one. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Chapman B-Wing. Are we ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's do that again, shall we? <laughs> Oops, a daisy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, I feel a bit embarrassed, but no more than usual. So, staging. What I really meant to do was put the engines on first. Yeah, we know that now, don't we? Let's try again. So, T, come on Jebediah, get yourself going. Full throttle, engines on. That's better. Turn to afterburner by pressing one, and release, and we're away. Look at that baby go. Turn the afterburner off before it pulls itself apart. Well, going fairly fast, isn't it? We're fairly impressed so far. Afterburner off. A little wobble on the cockpit, I'd say, but uh, you can't have everything, can you? Well, the look of the um, air stuff around it, it doesn't particularly like. Ah! <laughs> Jebediah, it's going to be a wet one. <laughs> I wonder if it's worth trying to fire the parachutes. Dum, da, 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 Back to the beginning. Revert flight to the launch. I just found out about this. On mine, it's backspace. It's quite useful. You don't have to watch all the explosions all of the time. Let's try that again. Um, T. Engines running. Afterburn running. Turn the afterburner off. Got to about a hundred. Bring the speed up to two thirds. That's better. I think it's happier at that speed. Try and flatten out a bit. There we are. Oh no, it looks like it will almost fly. Lovely tail fiddles down here. It does have that kind of um, feel about it sometimes. Got a capsule on the back here for an observer. Uh, I sometimes feel it really wants to fly upside down. Not accounting for taste, is it? Yeah, 
definitely happier this way. But this is almost a landing manoeuvre, the idea being that when you get close to the ground, you switch to straight up mode and it falls apart. No, that's not what's supposed to happen. <laughs> Oh dear Jebediah, once again we have a problem. I went down Kerbal Station I saw Jebediah there He was stretched out on the night table Pity about that. So cool so sweet and fair. Let it go, let it go, God bless him. Wherever he may be, he may search this whole wide world. put an extra control wheel here, which wasn't on there before. I wonder if that will help. I wonder if they're fighting each other. Okay. For the, oh, look. There's no staging is still correct. Okay. So, engine's on. Um, launch W W W Last try. Okay, Jebediah, this time we're going to go for a landing. Engines off. come to is B-wings are rubbish. I can't see how you're ever, ever, ever going to land one of these things or fly one of these things. But they're fun to build. Will the engines explode when we touch the ground or will it just fall apart? I'm taking bets now. Exploding, 10 to 1, falling apart, Evens. 200 feet to go. Dun, dun, dun! Let's 
7.5 meters per second, that should be okay. Or not. Okay, so engine exploding 10 to 1 is the winner. And then to get him away from the debris, we do that. Works every time. So now you can get out and walk away from it. No, he can't. The exit's obstructed. Oh dear Jeb, you'll have to wait till the ambulance comes. Anyway, bye bye everybody. Bye bye.